Hi guys, I'm Sam Davidson, a data scientist at Scion, which is forestry research. I'm talking about machine learning for automation and plant tissue culture. Uh, it's a collaboration between Scion and part of a wider tissue culture partnership program with Forest Growers Research. Uh, just just going to cover the methods and then instant segmentation of the embryo, uh, automated measurements pipeline, uh, germination prediction, and then future work. And this is the team here, tissue culture and the data scientist team. Uh, so for the experiment, initial experiment, we collected images under microscope of over 100 of these mature somatic embryo here, um, and they they grow and they turn into emblings and eventually seedlings in the nursery um, and eventually radiate of pine trees. Um, so we had two protocol. We tried pet, uh, petri plates at the top there and BV trays at the bottom. Uh, and eventually they were assessed whether they germinated or not because some of them fail um, and there's no point planting them. So for the mask RCNN, we used a data set of 427 images which were manually annotated in CVAT and then we trained the instant segmentation model. And here are the quantitative results. Um, yeah, they're not too bad. It struggled with the small uh, cotyledons, which you can see at the top there. Um, but they're not too bad and the qualitative results were really promising. The number there is actual versus predicted, so seven and seven, six and six, and it, it did well for most of the test images, which was really promising. And even some of the predictions were better than human annotations. Um, we also produced a, a script to automatically measure a range of morphological features, like the hypocotyl on the left and to do with the cotyledons on the right. And we also computed ratios, like the total width to total length, to put into a machine learning model. Um, so our collaborators uh, have a, an automated system, a fluidic system, which mass produces these embryo, um, but it needs brains behind it, a way of sorting uh, ones that will germinate and ones that won't, and they want morphological criteria, so a decision tree sort of automatically gives you this criteria um, for free as part of the training process. Um, so here we can choose certain criteria which have a high success rate for germinating. Um, and then yeah, this is model accuracy from a decision tree. Um, so in the experiment, only 33% germinated on the Petri plate and 67% on VB trays. Um, but once we trained the model, we could get 91% precision on the training data and 82% on the testing data. So th this means the AI will choose a certain amount to germinate and 82% of those will germinate um, which is quite promising and much better than just guessing. Uh, the best features computed were total length, the total area and total width to total length ratio, and also the root width to cotyledon width ratio. Uh, yeah, some future work that we're looking at doing, because uh, this is part of a seven year project called 21st Century Tissue, uh, Tissue Culture Partnership Program. So we. We have a summer student to collect more images under microscope uh, for different uh, embryo <coughs> genotypes. Um, and we're interested in automated image acquisition techniques as well. For example, we might have a robot taking images instead of having a human with a microscope build up a large training data set um, that can be incorporated into this fluidic system that's being built by our collaborators over in Sweden. Um, and then we're keen to implement this full pipeline on new images that we capture this summer. Uh, and also, we're interested in machine learning at different stages, because um, this is the maturation and germination stage of the pipeline for these somatic embryo. Um, the first stage, we have bioreact reactors in the proliferation stage, uh, where we, we're going to put my, uh, multispectral cameras to have a look at uh, the features and how they're growing at the very early stages and see if there's any initial signs of whether they'll germinate or not. Um, yeah, that, that's everything I had. Thank you.